Hello ladies and gents, you are watching Dino Aim. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to play online on the PPSSPP, specifically Monster Hunter, Freedom Unite, this one. First, I'm going to show you my settings. Now I have my Xbox One controller, and I'll just go go through it like this, because it's a little bit more smoother than the, uh, than the mouse. So, here it is, here are my settings for graphics. Audio, nothing that really change here, but if yours are different than mine, make sure that to uh, have it exactly the same as mine, because these were the settings I used for um, for to fix my uh, me and my brother's problem with getting kicked as soon as the quest started. It took me like a day and a half to figure it out, but these were the settings I used. Controls, nothing really here. Networking, it's a big one. So for networking. You're going to want to enable networking, WLAN. You check that. Now, for the pro ad hoc server with the IP address, you're going to have to have this one the exact same as your friends, so, or whoever you're playing with. So, this one is mine, not mine, uh, but, the, but the person I'm playing with. It's actually my desktop because I'm using it as an example to play online. And you're going to want to right click or double click and you can't you can't just hit right click and paste you have to hit control V and that'll do it for you just hit OK and OK it did it twice for some reason I'm not sure but it won't do it twice MAC address just make sure this is the different than anyone else's the pro ad hoc server you wanna have this enabled I think I said that already but make sure it is tools nothing to change here system I'm going to scroll through this as well. Make sure it's the exact same as mine. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and start the game. Oh, another thing I forgot. Ad hoc server. You're going to want to have this enabled. I'll have a link in the description for all of these. Just go here and have this black screen and just minimize it. Don't exit out, just minimize it, but you can exit out of this one. So exit out of that. And you want to have Hamachi and Ad Hoc Server open. The volume is too loud on the game, I apologize. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. Okay. Now, on the keyboard, you're gonna hit X, but if you're using a controller, you'll hit B or uh, circle, depending on which controller you're using. Now, I'm gonna go to the gathering hall one. Now this is my desktop right here. Uh, I'm using him as a test, as you can see his name is Test. <laughs> so, and I'm, I copied his IP, so this is where we have found out how to fix the uh, problem with getting kicked out as soon as the quest starts. The person whose IP you guys copied, that person has to buy the quest. So since I copied my desktop's uh, IP, I, that means that the desktop has to buy the quest. But I'm going to show you what happens if I buy the quest. Alright, I'm going to go to my desktop. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. Since I bought the quest, it is going to lag. It's going to take a really long time for it to load, and it's going to kick him out and me out as soon as the quest joins. Starts, I mean. Okay, now watch.
You see, it's going to take a very long time preparing quest. This is going to it's going to be saying preparing quest for like a good 30 seconds before we start seeing beginning quest. And there you go. You see it kicked my desktop right out, right out as soon as the quest started. Now I'm going to abandon the quest. And I'm going to fast forward it if I can. Yeah, I'm going to fast forward it. Uh, no. Okay. There we go. And now... Oh, I got to do it on my desktop. I'm going to show you what happens when my desk, the test uh, player buys the quest. Okay, now that he bought the quest. I'm going to now join him. It's going to be very short loading time. And there you go. And there you go, guys. You see it works. He, uh, the person whose IP you copy, that person has to buy the quest. Also, I've heard a lot of people saying you have to click the right analog or hit space I think on the keyboard if you want to slow down time for um, for it to um, for it to work properly but you don't have to do that at all all you have to do is make sure the person whose IP you'll copy buys the quest that's all there is to it now if I forgot anything let me know and I'll be sure to put it in the comments or if anyone has any questions just let me know and that's it for this video thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time